Marcella and her husband, Tim, spent a total of 122 hours decorating their living room. Tim spent 50 hours less than Marcella. How long did each person work on the room? So this one, we've got to find both of them. So we may have to write two equations, and that's okay. We'll say that Marcella is our X. That's how much time that she worked. And Tim can be Y. You can switch these. It doesn't matter as long as you're consistent with who's who and which is which. So... Marcel and her husband, Tim, spent a total of 122 hours decorating the living room. In other words, if we take Marcella's hours and add them to Tim's, we would get 122 hours. Is everyone okay with this equation? Continuing, Tim spent 50 hours less than Marcella. So Tim, who is Y, his is equal to Marcella's, X, but... He worked 50 hours less, that lazy jerk. <laughs> so how long did each person work on the room? So in this equation, this first one, see how we know what y is? y is x minus 50. Usually we only replace letters or variables with a value. But in this case, we can replace it with an expression like this one. So I'm going to rewrite this equation but with what y is, and that's x minus 50. And that would equal the 122. All right. So again, this is just where the y value was, but now I have an expression there. So when I add the x's, I have one x there and one x there. So when I combine them, I have two x's minus the 50 equals 122. All right, in this equation, I have x's and numbers on the same side of the equal sign. That's, that's not what we want. So we've got to get rid of those x, not the x's, but the numbers. So I need to add 50 to both sides. And I still have my 2x. This equals 122 plus 50, 172. All right, that's 2 times x. Inverse operation is to divide both sides by 2. And we find that x, let's do that, 172 divided by 2. 2 doesn't go into 1, but it will go into 17 8 times. 8 times 2 is 16. Subtract. And we get 12. 2 goes into 12 6 times. 6 times 2 is 12. And when we subtract this one, we also get 0. So it looks like x is this 86. And which of these two was x? Well, that's Marcella, as we labeled that. So we know Marcella worked 86 hours. And a quick way to find Tim's is, well, he just worked 50 hours less than that. So lazy Tim, we have 86 minus those 50 hours, and we get 36. Tim worked 36 hours. Did everyone hear that? So since we know that they worked 122 hours, and we know after we found Marcella's that she worked 86, 122 minus the 86 also gives us the 36. That's great.